I'm going to make another hairstyle today and it's going to be another high hairstyle and we're going to use some hairs from the ponytail uh, for the front decorations. So we are just going to start scraping the hair and getting it all up in the high ponytail. So uh, are we going to do a French twist or what are we doing um, on... No, we're going to do like the ponytail based hairstyle. Okay. Kind of like the one that I have right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are going to just style the way the hair goes mm -hmm. a little bit from here. Okay, cool. I'm excited. Okay, let's go to experiment. Mm -hmm. I know Maya likes um, French twists for ballroom. I love the French twist. Um, and for the low one, I've seen this on Katusha several times. Um, it was very similar to the uh, you know the previous video that you did with the low bun. Um, that's it's low, uh -huh. but then you kind of make a bow out of the hair. Uh -huh. I think that is just the cutest thing ever. Next time you do my hair, that's what I want. I want a bow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then uh, bring pictures and maybe we can do a tutorial for them. Yes, definitely. And my hair is quite short, so this is, you know, another good thing for you guys to see because Yana's hair is very long and you saw her working with it and my hair is a lot shorter. Still doing a lot of things with it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, would you say like the hairstyle? I mean, the the hair length doesn't really matter for what you want to do in general. Um, you can pretty much do any hairstyle with any hair length, I unless think, it's really short, I right? Think, like as long as it's shoulder length, I yeah. can do anything. And uh, if it's shorter than the shoulder length, you might mm -hmm. need to use several ponytails and kind of wrap the hair, wrap the hair around your ponytail bases, mm -hmm. so you have more volume. I see. Just um, takes care of the frizz mm -hmm. and the flyers. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes when you have uh, like a little bit of hair sticking out, what mm -hmm. you can do is brush it towards the ponytail mm -hmm. and uh, just stick a pin into it like this. Oh, it's okay. A little bit further away from the ponytail, but it actually takes care of um, all this uh, stuff that's sticking out. And the bun is going to cover it up anyway. I can imagine this is going to be one of those getting sped, sped up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are seeing that. Okay. Alright. So we got our ponytail up. And uh, what I want to do is I want to do a bun. And I want to send a part of the hair forward to the design and the part of the hair back on the head to do another design. So I'm just going to kind of pick the part that is longer. Yeah, I have some short hairs in there. <laughs> Um, when you have shorter hair mm -hmm. uh, and you really want to like make it look like you have a lot of hair. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take a hair net. Yes. Again, this is something you get in a CVS or uh, any pharmacy, the one that has uh, a um, hair department, so where they sell scrunchies and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have them ever everywhere. Yeah. You can like, get a whole bunch of them because you're going to go through them pretty quickly. Yeah, you basically like use one or like sometimes two or three for a hairstyle, mm -hmm. uh, and they come in packages of three. So, um, Mm -hmm. And uh, 
Oh, uh, show them the bobby pins that we use because they're not really the standard bobby pins that you would normally get, you know, to sort of like clip your hair in. Um, we usually get the ones that are already pulled apart and what that does is that it just makes it easier for you to work with um, so you don't have to just like constantly keep opening them um, and then getting them into your hair. So they already come pre-opened and they're much easier. These are the ones that are the, those are the only ones that I've seen in Russia before. I have never seen the, oh, the other ones that they sell in the US. So yeah. I always found it fascinating that they never had them. Ideally you want to match your bobby pins to the hair color, but sometimes you can get over all those pins that we use to secure uh, the, the hair. Um, yeah, the hair, the, the roosters. The roosters. We're hiding all the roosters. Yeah, so try to keep it like very um, still fluffy mm -hmm. so that it has a little volume and height. Mm -hmm. like this hair style might work really well for somebody who is a little shorter than the partner because it adds height mm -hmm. visually. Yeah, absolutely. And I also think it's just very pretty. Yeah, now would you say any sort of particular hairstyle works for a particular face shape? Like if you have a round face, do you want to do a low bun? Or if you have a more of a heart shaped face, do you want to do something high? Do you have any opinions on that? What would you um, say? I think that all shape and the heart shape is an ideal uh, shape for the face. Mm -hmm. So if you have, um, like if your face shape is slightly different, you might want to like add a little volume here or there so that you are closer to an oval or closer mm -hmm. to the heart shape. Mm -hmm. um, I think that nobody really looks good when all their hair is pulled back. Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to do some design in the front. Okay. Um, but what I wanted to show in this hairstyle is that you don't have to just take hair from over here to do designs on the front. Mm -hmm. You can actually take the hair from the ponytail and send it forward. Yeah. Because like you'll see Yana's hair, hers goes from the front versus yeah. mine is going to go yeah. from the back actually. And so now you're just taking that hair and then you're wrapping it around to create the bun, right? Yeah, I just wrapped it around and I have like a little, um, like on the back camera we can see that, uh, we have a little ponytail, like a very tiny mm -hmm. one, and that one is going to be a design on the back and I'm going to spray your hair a little bit more here. I'm running out of hairspray, which is fine. <laughs> I need to use it up anyway. This trust me, one is by far one of my favorites. Yeah, and I Just like for every day I use it. Yeah, that's what I do too. Because mm -hmm. I find the trust me one uh, to be very sort of like a light, it's not, it's a firm hold, but it doesn't feel heavy, which I really like down for me for a second because mm -hmm. I just want to work on this now. So what good. are you doing to me right now? I have like um, a tiny ponytail coming from the back of the bun mm -hmm. and I'm doing a design on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'm actually going to split it in several strands. I need to brush this part out already. Now we 
is really doing the designs. Yeah, this one was so easy. It just basically... Yeah, that was super quick. You put it in the um, net, wrap it, wrap it around, mm -hmm. um, and you just basically don't do anything with it anymore. I would use tonsil hairspray to spray it, and then I would add some more bobby pins to secure mm -hmm. it. really strange. Okay. <laughs> How's this? That's fine. Okay. And, uh, I'll just secure it with a few pins. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't drop because gel glue keeps it down mm -hmm. while I'm ready to hairspray it. Yeah. And then oh. you can do like glitter glue around it. So to, you know, you actually let's do it. <laughs> okay, we can do that if you want. I was just giving people ideas, but but yeah, this hairstyle is super fast, so you could use this, you know, if you're in a rush and if you want just something quick without even doing the designs, you could just do your hair up like this and it will hold and you'll be fine. And it really doesn't matter which way it goes, it's mm -hmm. like whatever feels good to you today. Mm. Yeah. That's what's fun about bottom hair, you can just make any sort of design you want. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be anything precise. So now we're just finishing up with some of the hairspray going forward. Our cameras keep dying because we keep recording so much. Yes, these are like really long videos. We did three hairstyles today. Yes, we did. It was very productive. Very productive day. It's very good. Like again, you cannot use enough hairspray. You have to actually keep spraying your hair when you're competing because um, it dries out and uh, you might, like parts uh, that are glued on might come out. So I keep spraying my hair throughout competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although if you are wearing stones, it's better that you spray several layers before you glue the stones on because otherwise the stones are going to get dull. Dull? Oh, right, because if you spray them on top. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Because you want to keep them shiny and sparkly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want them to last a long time. Yeah.